Hello listeners, uh, good morning. Today we are going to talk about uh, Davis's poem, My Old Food Family. Davis's poems are located in uh, the Yorkshire World Bank Tower in England, in a place uh, by the name of Bates Paul, where he studied in school. His father was a uh, participant in the First World War. He took part in the First World War. And David's brother was a gamekeeper. Perhaps these two facts uh, gave point insights to David's. Uh, these two experiences determined David's political differences and his political goals in one year's point. As one critic has said, that David's poetry was a poetry that pervaded by vision of nature, which is full of terror, violence, and beauty. This vision is continued in his past works of poetry, uh, The Hawk in the Rain, and in other later works like the Crow series. Today, um, we we'll try to understand my own two family, which is uh, which belongs to the um, category of children literature. Though it is meant for the children, it has a different meaning, and the poem is susceptible to multiple interpretations. Uh, let us have a quick reading of the text of my own true family. Uh, once I created a pocket, I was looking for a scare. I made it all over there. All the kids speak and wear. She said, I have your secret hair inside the little bag. Then she began to cackle and I began to pray. She opened up her little bag and I prayed twice a day. Surrounded by a staring tribe, my queen and me trying to escape. They say, We are the old trees, your own true family. We are chopped down, we are torn up, you do not live the life. Unless you make a promise now, now we are going to die. When you want to see an oak tree fail, swear now, you will die too. Unless you swear, the black oak door will need to open you. And rooted among the oaks, for you are born by never you. This was my dream beneath the boughs, the dream that altered me. When I came out of the output, back to human company, my walk was a walk of a human child, but my heart was a tree. Uh, once I crept in an output, I was looking for a uh, stair. Crept means enters silently, stealthily almost crawling. So here we have the suggestion that uh, the poet as a child stealthily, silently entered into an oak forest. And the child was looking for a stag, was looking for a searching for a main deer. Now the poet entering in oak forest, uh, the, the child is entering in, in oak forest and he is looking for a stag, suggests he is search for either place of living. It's a symbol of the poet searching for it uh, uh, for an ideal place of living. I met an old woman there. When he entered the oak forest, he met an old woman in the forest. All lovely stick and have all lovely stick. The woman had a stick with her. It was Streaming like this, streamly like this. It was streamly, a lovely stick, just streamly. And red, the woman was wearing a dress uh, full of, I mean, it was torn up dress, it was a savvy dress. Chera Pusha, Chera Chera Pusha Pusha. So, nobly, it is unsteady stick, and she was wearing torn up dress. 
this one, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, one meaning. Uh, nobly has another uh, connotation, con uh, denotations. Nobly means full of knots, hard and lumpy, like this, hard and lumpy. So the stick was full of knots, hard lumps. This suggests that the old woman is a symbol for uh, mother nature, mother nature. And her wearing happy dress suggests that mother nature is now despised and neglected by her old sons. After the uh, industrializations, uh, new factories were set up, new industries were set up, uh, uh, and forest cover on earth was depleted. And because of all these, mother nature has become weak, has become old, um, so he's, she's unsteady, she's walking unsteady, unsteadily, and she's uh, wearing a sunny uh, torn up dresses. So the old lady is wearing uh, torn up dresses and unsteady stick suggests that mother nature is in a sense dying because of the neglect of human beings, because of the torture that human beings are inflicted on mother nature. She said, I have your secret hair inside my little bag. She said, I have your secret hair inside my little bag. The old woman told the child that she had within uh, the little bag her secret, her hidden things. A mysterious thing, the secret thing here uh, symbolically, metaphorically stands for something, uh, some, 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 some secret which uh, human beings and mother nature can with which mother nature can communicate with. So, secret here uh, means the communion between uh, human beings and nature. The secret of communion between human beings and nature. Then she began to cackle, then she began to cackle, and I began to quake. Then after that, she began to cackle, she uh, began to laugh in an unpleasant way. A love making strange noise and strange sounds and as a result of that unpleasant laughter, loud laughter, the child was terrified, was scared. He began to tremble in fear, began to quake. 